This experiment is called Let's Make a Foam Plastic and the primary objective is to showcase to children how a foam plastic can be produced from its base material. In this case we'll be using expanded polystyrene produced from polystyrene. You will need a hot plate and a pan to boil some water in continuously, a plate, an egg. We've also got some cold water and a sieve to help us when removing the polystyrene from the boiling water. And some of the materials from the polymer kit that include the polystyrene, the metal casing with its screws and clamps inside, and the egg helmet. Before we start the main part of the experiment, we're going to showcase some of the safety applications of polystyrene. If you look here, we have an egg placed inside the polystyrene helmet that comes within the polymer kit. It's best to use a medium-sized egg to ensure a snug fit inside. Then what we're going to do is simply hold it up and showcase how we can protect the egg from cracking by dropping it within the helmet. Now I'm going to do this straight onto the table. You'll see that it makes quite a loud noise. Fingers crossed, the egg inside will be unharmed. And as you'll see, we've removed the egg from the helmet and there are no cracks or damage to the egg. Now, to showcase what happens without the helmet, we're going to drop the egg onto a plate to avoid some mess, to showcase the safety aspects of that helmet even further. I'm going to hold the egg about face height. I'm just going to drop it into the plate and see what happens. As you can see, the egg has unfortunately cracked. And it's a good point to, to create an analogy for some of the kids. This could be their head if they're not wearing protective gear, for example, when cycling. Now, we're going to show the process of making this expanded polystyrene. What we're going to do is take our polystyrene from our polymer kit and we're going to put one and a half scoops inside the metal casing. We've now put one and a half scoops of polystyrene into the metal casing and it's now time to clamp it shut so we can boil it. You'll see when you first open the metal casing that there are some screws and some clamps inside. It's not vital that you use the screws, but you must use the clamps to ensure it stays closed when boiling in the water. I place the two halves of the metal container together and I apply the three clamps equidistant onto the metal container. It's now time to place our container inside the boiling water for about 15 minutes. Although you can't overdo the process, if you have more time, by all means take it. Another important factor is to turn regularly the casing inside the boiling water and this ensures that all the polystyrene has a chance to expand. We've had another one cooking for a little bit longer just to show you the finished product and I'm now going to remove that from the boiling water. So we take our sieve and we're just going to lift it out of there. I've got a little bit of cold water here just to cool it down to ensure that it's safe to handle. So we just pop that in there, place our sieve down, make sure it's fully cooled down and now we're ready to take what is hopefully an expanded polystyrene ball out of the metal casing. So we remove our clamps. And simply open the container. And inside you can see we have formed an expanded polystyrene ball.